Hello dear 8th graders! How are you guys? Nice to see you again. As you know, tomorrow I will take the vaccine and for precaution, anything can happen. I recorded this video here, you can use it for the lesson, okay? Let's go ahead guys and today let's talk a little bit more about how can we solve more applications for quadratic equations. Yes, let's go here first. What are you supposed to do here? Attention, guys. Attention over here, our mental map, as usual. Let's go over here. I have four problems easily. Oh, Mr. Romeo, you are hiding some problems. Yes, I am. Sorry. Okay, now I am not. Great, I am here. A ah, little Mr. Romeo. Yes, I am here, guys. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's understand here, how can we solve, here's the solution. The first one, guys, which method we can use it? Guys, as you can see here, I have easily, I can use this, the graphing method, as we learn, we use when we have graphs, yes? Just when we have graphs, okay? The other one, oh, we have our four methods to work on over, over here. I will start this one with which, which method mister i will choose here different way let me just do go over here guys completing the square i will start completing the square okay first of all i just write over here minus 2x move negative 3 by opposite will be positive 3 okay i just write 3 great and let's complete the square now completing the square a half of negative 2 it is negative 1 negative 1 square it is one, adding one here, adding another one over there. Great, finish over here. I know here is x minus one and square equals four. Right now, taking the square root in both sides. Great, taking the square root here, taking the square root there. It is x minus one equals plus and minus Two, I have two solutions. One, it is positive two. Other one is negative two. We move over here. We can find easily it is negative one and three. Okay, we move here. Negative two minus. Sorry guys. Uh, negative two here. Or positive two plus one three. Negative two. Or positive negative two plus one negative one. That's right. The solution. Great. Next one, mister. Let's go slip and slide. Oh, we can do it. Yes, let's do it, guys. Here, three times. Okay, we're factoring. Three times. Three, it is nine. Let's write over here. X squared minus 8X plus 9 equals, equals 0. Great. Sun and product. Which numbers times? A number times itself equals 9. A number times another number is 9. The product and the sum is negative 8. Oh, mister, this one is easy. The number is x minus 9 and x plus 1. Yes, guys. Great. Equals 0. But I sleep. Right now I need to slide, guys. Let's slide here. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. Great. 9 divided by 3 is 3. One solution have is x minus 3 equals 0. The other solution I have x plus 1 third, or x, yes, x plus 1 third equals 0. Moving by the opposite, I got the solution here. Oops, is wrong here, guys. Sorry. It is the solution over here. It is 3, 3, and negative 1 third. Sorry, guys, for that. Negative 1 third. Oops, negative one third, guys. Here is the two solutions for this one. Let's go ahead. Next one, mister, which method we can solve here? Okay, I use it completing the square. I use it uh, factoring. We have two more. We have a quadratic formula and we have the square root, okay? Let's work here. Uh, the square root method is easy to use over here. Mm, not not real for real is not useful a lot but what I need to do first first of all guys I have this half square how can we eliminate this thing 
multiply by 2 everything okay times 2 why times 2 then I can eliminate the fraction multiplying by 2 the new fraction will be x square because I have times 2 is 1 2 times 3 it is 6x 9 Oh, uh, 9 halves times 2, it is just 9. Oh, easy, equals 0. You can use here sum and product, completing the square, anything you need. It. Which one meter you will use? I will complete the square. No, not complete the square. Sorry, just uh, factoring. Why, mister? Because I already have here 9. Which number times another number is 9? And the sun is 6. This number is 3, guys. It is x plus 3 squared. Ah, just it, mister. Yes, just it. And right now, taking the square root. Oh, mister, we have just one solution. Yes, I have just one possibility here because the square root of 0 is 0. I don't have a plus and minus 0. Okay, here is x plus 3 equals 0. The solution, negative 3. The last one, mister, how can we do it? Guys, we can use here the formula. It's up to you. I will use here i'll use the easiest one as i can see okay the easiest method i can see here i can do it solving mm, let me see here first i will slip and slide slip and slide i can use the quadratic formula also okay but here i can do slip and slide multiply here will be the new the new function will be x squared uh, plus 22x plus 21 equals zero nice we finish here mister we're supposed to do now find the sun and product which number the product is 21 and the sun is 22 this is easy guys x plus 1 x plus 21 nice equals zero right now slide remember to slide 21 here 21 here okay because I sleep right now slide and I have two solutions, x plus 1 over 21 equals 0, x plus 21 divided by 21 is 1, x plus 1 equals 0. The two solutions, guys, probably here is wrong because I forgot to change, sorry by that. It is negative 1, 21, and negative 1. Great, this is the two solution. Great, guys. Is easy. Let's go ahead here or a lesson. Okay, have the instructions over here. Everybody remember what I had you to do. Right now, guys, today we're working applications about area and consecutive integers. Okay, let's go over here to our lesson. Our enter ticket today, guys, it is how can I find the missing number using quadratic equation? How can I find the missing number using quadratic equation? Let's go ahead here, guys. First, I have this area problem. What I need to do here, mister? Guys, oh, let me move here first. Let me move here to the correct position. Let me increase it. Okay, I'm great enough. Now, guys, how can I find it? I know the formula to find any rectangle area base times height i think you remember this from grade six grade seven great let's go over here i know the formula it is the base my base here is x plus seven times height x equals equals what given the diagram below find the value of x if the area of the rectangle is 78 78 equals 78 oh mister so easy yes very easy guys and what are supposed to do here attention attention right now distribute and let's see what i have x squared oops x squared my uh, plus 7x right now i move 78 by opposites negative 78 okay equals zero which one miss you can use guys i like to use sun and product as i told you is it possible yes I don't have any a, a number one here. I I can I know this is a factorable number. 78. What is the factors for 78? We we'll start with 2. 2 and will be 20, 18, 29. Okay, 29. What is the factor for 29? We have it. Mm, 2, no, 
3, no, 2 times 9, 18, carry 1, 2 times 2, oh, 4, no, 39, sorry guys, 39, 39 is, okay, 39 by 3, now be sure, be, by, be here by 3, it is 13, it's done, 13 is a uh, prime number, 2, 3, and 13, great, mister, I know the first one is 2 times 39, okay, let's go ahead by 3 then, by 3 will be 26 here. Why is 3 times 6? 18. Carry 1. 3 times 2, 6. Plus 1, 7. 3 and 26. And the next one will be 13. Oh, 6. Next one. 6 and 13. Why, well, mister? 6 times 13 is 18. Carry 1. And adding these numbers, 6 plus 13. And this sum here is 20, 41. This sun, oh, it's negative. Sorry, guys, one must be negative. Which one? Let's pick the greatest. Oh, no, the, the least. I think the least is better. Okay, the least, the least, the least. Okay, the least is first, first negative. Okay, negative 2 times 39, it is 37. Great. Negative 3 and 26, it is 23. Okay, no. Negative 6 and 13, it is 7. Oh, we got it. Negative 6 and 13. And here it is x minus 6 and x plus 13. Solving this for 0, what do we have? x minus 6 equals 0 will be x equals 6 positive. And x plus 13 equals 0 will be x equals negative 13. Great, we got it. But my question to you guys, do I have a negative measure <laughs> we don't have it then goodbye negative 13 the measure here x it is equal to 6 let's be sure yes you can figure out here 6 6 plus 7 13 6 times 13 78 right okay guys right now it's up to you to solve this second one attention we don't have a negative measure great Pause this video and solve this one, okay? Okay, I think you're finished, guys. First of all, what you need to do here, multiply. Multiply this one, given here the square meters, 108. X times X minus 3 equals 108. X, distributing, guys. Remember, our first lesson, distributing method. Okay, x times x, x squared. x times negative 3, negative 3x. Three okay, distributing. And, and minus 108 equals 0. Mister, which method over here? I don't know, 108 is so big. Hmm, let me figure out, guys. Oh, but here's is a yeah, odd number. Let's do the sun and product. Okay, I need two numbers that the sun it is negative 3 on the product negative 108 i do not use 2 i cannot use here 2 will be so least okay guys not 2 here and the biggest would be negative here 2 and a half 100 would be 50 50 54 negative 54 nope not work by 4 okay by 4 works for here will be, let me think, let me think, mm, by 4, here it is 54 by 2, go 10, 14, don't work, 4 not work guys, I cannot divide by 4, no I can, I can, it will be 25, sorry my bad, 25 and 8, 27, 27. Yes, 37. 37 works. Great, guys. 27. No, the sun is, is so low. Next one will be... Can we use 6 here? No, 6. Yes, we can use 6. We can use 6. We can use 3 for real. But let's go 6 here. 6. Mm, 6 here will be... Let me think here. 54. Let's divide by 3 here will be 30, 24, 18, 18, 
6 times 8, 48, carry 4, 6 times, yes, 18. Negative 18 for you, 6 minus 18, no, not yet. Let's go next, 7, no, 8, no, 9. 9 works, 9 will be here, guys, if you understand negative 12. Oh, nice, and 9 minus 12, negative 3. Oh, Mr. Great. Here, let's write right now here, x plus 9 x minus 12 equals 0 and here the solution x equals negative 9 x equals 12 and do we have a negative measure as I told you no we don't and the solution here it is 12 meters great guys I think you understand here we have four activity to do you have 15 minutes to solve this one okay stop the video solve this activity okay and after you finish returning here the video i will show you the answer key great stop the video now okay i think you're returning guys over here let's go number three find the dimensions of the rectangle below if the area is on 128 square feet solving this thing we can use over here which method mister remember we're distributing okay x plus 7 times x minus 1 equals 128 for your method x times x x square x times negative 1 negative x x times 7 times x 7x and the last one 7 times negative 1 is negative 7 equals 128 Right now, combine like terms, we have x squared um, plus 6x minus 7. But guys, I will move, okay? I will move here, 128 minus 7. Why, Mr? I completed the square. Okay, what is the half of 6? 9. Oh, sorry, 3. 3 squared, positive 9. Positive 9 here. Solving this thing easily. We find here x plus 3 is square equals, um, will be 2, 130, 130. Oh, mister, we, can we cannot solve this one using this method. We have 130 here. How can we do? We have square root for 130. Mm, let me think, let me think. Nope, we don't have it. Okay, this one don't work. Which method then, mister? We can easily use this one, okay? We can easily find here, negative 7, here will be 21, plus 9, 30, yes, is that correct? Here, guys, this move here, when I'm 120, oh, guys, I know right as a problem. It's positive 7, ah, attention, positive 9, oh, now makes sense x plus 3 is square equals 28 plus 2 35 35 plus 9 will be 140 mm, 35 plus 9 137 7 144 okay now i know aha now i have square root yes we have it square root here square root here we have x plus 3 equals plus and minus 1 12 x plus 3 equals plus and minus 12 the solution i have two one is x equals negative 15 okay and the other one x equals and uh, here if you remember correctly one it's nine great nine nine okay why if we move here it will be positive 12 minus 3 9 that's correct do we have a negative measure nope i don't have it then the solution here it is this one number nine okay x equals nine ninety what nine is feet okay fd great guys solving these other ones you will need to find the value over here number four the answer keys it is 12 number five the answer key here, number five, it is six, six meters. The answer key here, 
Number six, it's nine. Nine meters. Great. Let's go ahead, guys. We have one more thing. We have one problem to solve over here. Number seven, number eight. More five minutes to solve this one. Okay, and no. Okay, nice. You return over here. This one, number seven, guys. You you find easily here. It is remember to understand. Okay, a square is altered so that one dimension is increased by five, and the other dimension is decreased by two. Remember, guys. The, the problems, okay, we know we're solving this one. Remember the problems reading this thing. We have two possibilities of, of two possibilities over here. Okay, remember system of equations. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so for this one, the equation is x plus five. X plus five times x minus two equals ninety-eight. Solving this thing, you got a negative twelve and nine. The solution is just one number. Okay, and next one, given the diagram, find the area of region, uh, shaded region. Guys, solve this first one, the big rectangle area, 2x minus 1 uh, times x plus 6, you will got to, and after you will subtract, okay, you will subtract the little region over here. Have the big parenthesis over here. The little parenthesis here is x times x plus three. So equals what? If the area of the shaded region is 50, 59, now we can easily find. We have two solutions over here, negative thirteen, and easily we find here is five. And we're looking for x equals five. 2 times 5, okay, we know x equals 5, great, just the x, but what are the dimensions of the outside rectangle, they are looking for the outside rectangle, this measure, this one, okay, 5 plus 6, 11, and 2 times 5, 10, 10 minus 1, 9 meters, no, inch, sorry, inch, great, here, guys, consecutive integers. It's the last thing we work today. Here, guys, I'm asking for you the product. Remember, it's like the system of equations, okay? The product of two positive consecutive integers is 56. Find the integers. Okay, let x, imagine x is my first integer, okay? It's the first one. Who is the second? The second one is that if they are consecutive, it is x plus 1 will be the next one, will be the second. And they talk about the product, they're multiplying each other. x times x plus 1 equals 56. 56. Great. And we solve this one. We solve here would be x squared plus x minus 56 equals zero sum and product guys uh, this uh, the product is negative 56 and the sum it is one i know one number seven eight. Oh yeah seven eight x plus seven no plus eight eight is greater and x minus seven so here we got two solutions x equals negative eight x equals seven Great. Who is the first number? Seven. Who is the second one? Eight. Oh, miss, I just negative eight. I don't have negative numbers. Remember, guys, I don't use it. But I know seven is the first number and eight is the second. Nice. Guys, up to you now. Solve 10, 11, and 12. Pause the video. More 10 minutes to solve this one. If you need any help, let me know. Okay, and now. Okay, guys, probably you finished this already. We have two consecutive positive integers, consecutive positive, consecutive even thing, in even, attention for information, even. If the first one is x, who is the second even number? x plus 2. Imagine the first is 2, who is the next? 4. If I choose 4, the next 6. Understand? 
because they are even attention for this rule okay let's multiply then x times x plus 2 equals 80 nice right now solving this one will be x squared minus or plus 2x plus 2x minus 80 equals 0 sum and product 10 and 8 okay x plus 8 x minus 10 equals 0 solving this one the first one x equals negative 8 i don't have this one x equals 10 okay this one works who is the first integer okay oh guys it's opposite will be here 8 and negative 10 oh no it's opposite yes the opposite is plus 10 and negative 8 sorry my bad then the solution here is positive 8 and negative 10 i don't have negative 10 i have 8 the first one is 8 and the second number will be 10 okay plus 2 10 guys solving this one okay number 11 number 11 over here okay find two consecutive odd integers guys odd integers positive odd integers okay the, four, the same idea x and x plus 2 okay would be equal to remember guys add it to three times the second we need to multiply by three the second three times the second great solving this one you got the solution x will be equal to three and and what else what else means what else here this one i have the two unders is three and five the last one find the three positive consecutive integers such that the product of the second integer and the third integer it is 72 i have three numbers the first is x the second x plus one the third x plus two I'm talking about the third is to x plus 2. So that the product of the second and the third, who is the second and third? We're product for these two guys here. And you will find the solution x. The solution for the equation will be 7 because a negative 10, I don't use negative numbers. And the three numbers is 7, 8, and 9. Great, guys. We solve this one, attention guys, it's easy to understand these steps, okay? As the ticket guys for finish, how can I find the missing number using quadratic equation, use area formula, and after use any method to find the zero, the result, it is the missing number. Great! Guys, remember the project, we are working on it, remember the game here, okay? Find the equation for the game and send it to me, okay? Bye, guys. Love you. I hope you understand this lesson. See you next class. Bye-bye.